Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum to everybody who's tuned into PTV World and are watching World This Morning alongside Shazad Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the day is Tuesday and I, you know, I literally want to probably give everybody a warm hug as well because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, recently we have seen that, the, you know, the weather is changing. A lot of people out there are under the weather and we want everybody to look after themselves because if you're not going to look after yourself, who will? And I think this is one thing with which I wanted to start my show today as well. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we, you know, uh, we are here in the studios and we are talking to you people who are out there, who love us, who cherish each and every moment, you know, whatever we do over here on television. So I think that our, it is our responsibility to give back to you people too as well. And I think my way of giving back is to probably send a million prayers all your way I want you guys to be successful. I want each and every one of you to prosper in life. And I want each and every one of you to be dedicated towards your goals and towards your destiny. It's time to rise and shine, wake and bake, get up and be full of energy. Why not? Because I think that energy comes from within your own self. Nobody else can actually be a reason. Well, let me think. Mm. Well, I think that there are people who can actually be a reason of your energy. And that is because, for example, if you're in love with someone, you know, imagine, I think love is, is, is such a blessing which is not, first of all, bestowed upon everyone. So, you know, people who actually have somebody who's around them, you should always be thankful to Allah Almighty for giving you such type of people who actually love you unconditionally. Now, this is one word which I wanted to pick up, unconditionally. Now, whenever we talk about unconditionally, what happens is that, for example, if we go to extreme lengths for somebody, what happens is that eventually we start thinking that, you know, they actually have to give back to us too as well. But I think this is where we go wrong. So for all those people who love and they love unconditionally, this is what we mean actually that, you know, no matter what happens, no matter what you do, no matter wherever you're going to go, you know, the love is going to stay unconditional. And that's how it should be all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, your love should be unconditional for Mother Nature. Your love should be unconditional for all those people who surround you. And I think love is such a great feeling that it gives you contentment too as well. So this is one thing with which I wanted to start my show today. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely missed you yesterday. And today, she's just not around. She's just not feeling well. So Shiza, please get well soon, as soon as possible. And for all those people who are out there, I will actually pledge you to please pray for all of our health as well over here. We've got our camera team, we've got people in the MCR, we've got our producers, our researchers. So yeah, please make sure that you always remember us in, our, uh, in your prayers. That's, that's something which is very important. And now in days to come, there's this surprise which I wanted to share with you guys. And that is that I'll actually be going through a major physical appearance change. And for that, I've been said by my stylist that I actually have to grow my beard. Now, for me, for somebody whose hair growth is very, I, kind of not on point, you know. So, for example, if I need some certain style of beard, I probably have to wait for a month or two months to let it grow. And I think that it is a moment of patience. And this is what I wanted to pick up on as well, where we talk about patience. Patience, ladies and gentlemen, is a talent, you know, and not everybody's got it. Please make sure that you practice and, uh, you know, for patience, it's just that, you know, if you stay quiet, you know, if you stay calm, if you stay contented, I think everything's going to be perfect for you in life. But other than that, whenever we talk about things being perfect in life, I think science has contributed a lot. And whenever we talk about science, there are too many other names which we, which we definitely want to mention. But today we are going to actually mention Darwin's theory. And I think everybody is probably aware of the fact that what Darwin's theory is and the particular reason of talking about Darwin's theory today, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's his birthday on the 12th of February and he was born back in 1809. He's contributed quite a lot towards science. We've got a small video to share. Go ahead, take a look. And when you guys are going to come back, there's this something which we're going to talk about and it's relatable because of the fact that right now we're talking about science. And one way or the other, information, technology, digitalization, I think comes under science. Really? Let's check it out. Good morning. Darwin had always wanted to study nature, even though his father wanted him to be a doctor or a priest. Defying him, young Darwin embarked on a ship sent to chart the coasts of South America because he wanted to collect and study exotic animal specimens. What he found on the five-year trip would lead him to question his beliefs. What if species weren't as permanent and perfect as everyone thought? 
In Argentina, Darwin found fossils of what looked like giant armadillos and sloths. Clearly, these animals had existed at some point, but they didn't anymore. This made Darwin suspect species had changed over time, in line with some existing but unpopular theories. He had also seen mockingbirds, and when he got to the Galapagos, he found different mockingbird species on the islands, distinct among each other and from the mainland species. Because of their sheer similarity and closeness, Darwin hypothesized that they had a common ancestor whose specimens had flown to the islands and changed there. However, something was missing. How did this change happen? Darwin's inspiration came from an economist, Thomas Malthus, who believed that humans reproduced faster than their food supply. Darwin realized that animals always breed beyond their available resources, so the individuals who were better at surviving would be the ones to reproduce. This way, they would pass on any traits that had helped them survive. Everything fit together, but there was a final hurdle. Darwin, like the society he lived in, was deeply religious, and all the evidence he'd found contradicted Christian beliefs. It would take him over 20 years to write and publish his revolutionary book on the origin of species. But when he finally did, it became one of the most influential scientific treatises of all time. Influential scientific genius, ladies and gentlemen, that's what uh, he's actually known for. And for, I think for all those people who are out there, for all those kids who are out there, you know, we've given you the information. Today is Darwin's Day, and the sole reason why it's Darwin's Day today is because it's his birthday today. He was born on eight, in 1809 on 12th of February, and I think he's contributed quite a lot towards science. Uh, but anybody can have differences too as well. I think that, you know, the Darwin theory itself, I've got a... a you know, because our belief system is different, so I might not probably agree with the theory he came up with. But, you know, this is how science, ladies and gentlemen, is actually progressing. This is how it progresses as well. For example, when we talk about medicine, for all those people who are doctors, for all those people who are engineers, with newer inventions, I think that they need to read and then they re need to adopt to the newer techniques or the theories too as well. But today what we can do is that the sole reason why we mention that it's Darwin Day today is to create a ripple effect. So, you know, for example, when you throw a stone into a pond of water, you get the ripples back. So that's what it is. You know, we want people to learn about him. And I think that today is going to be one of those days as well where you can actually take our time and read about him today as well. But other than that, now, ladies and gentlemen, coming back to what we wanted to talk about. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know that Pakistan over here, you know, information technology has boomed a lot. You know, a lot of people are working, for example, let's start from telecommunication. If you start from telecommunication, there was a time when we only used to use cell phones, you know, for example, and then for incoming calls, there were charges, for outgoing calls, there were charges too as well. So, you know, we have progressed in a way where it became so common that, you know, now hardly anybody calls on your cell phone. Either you're going to get a call on WhatsApp, which I think is very disturbing. I really do not want to get a call on WhatsApp or probably FaceTime or anything else. I mean, other than if it's special or not. But, you know, so things have progressed now. Then we actually came up with 3G. Now we have come up with 4G. And then in days to come, we'll actually be experiencing 5G over here in Pakistan as well. So whenever we talk about technology, it's not that, that we are way back, you know, probably in the global arena. But yes, we are. And I think that this is something which we need to realize as a nation. For, uh, because we, our economy is agriculture based, so what happens is that, you know, we produce tons and tons of cotton and whatnot, other products which we actually export to the other world. But in return, what do we get? You know, so the return is very smaller because in return or in exchange, we get technology. You know, we, got, we get cell phones, we get laptops. And, you know, there are other, other things which we definitely import too as well for our, for our good use. But now, ladies and gentlemen, imagine that if I tell you that this is such an industry, the topic which we have picked up on is actually or can create 4 million jobs till 2025. Now, what can that be? And not just that, you know, so 7% GDP increase can be seen, which is roughly somewhat around more than $30 billion. And this is not what I say. You know, $30 billion, ladies and gentlemen, is a figure which we can achieve by 2025 if we start investing it is. And ladies and gentlemen, we are definitely talking about digitalization over here. The gentleman whom we, we have actually invited over here on the show today was here in 2016. He had, uh, he's a digital entrepreneur, he's an IT expert. And he came up with this concept that, you know, I'm actually going to teach a lot of 
other students and then train them so that they can earn by themselves. Now, how can that happen? And, and a lot of times, you know, people on my fan pages or anywhere else, wherever I communicate or wherever I go, they do ask me, how do you earn money online? Because these days we see a lot of the different ads that, you know, a seven-year-old is actually earning $22 million dollars a year by doing toy reviews. So how is that happening? I think this is something which we need to talk about and I think that digitalization has got a very important, imperative and a pivotal role to play. I'm going to give it away, but not like that after a short break. Good morning. Truck art from Pakistan is renowned to the world for its attraction and unique sense of artistic taste. Pakistani truck art is Pakistan's cultural identity. One look at a truck with artistic work over it and the first thing which would come to your mind would be Pakistan. I've been driving truck for the last five years. Not only it's my interest and passion, but also is a source of income for my family and I. We open up the whole body of our truck and piece it down to various parts to get the painting process smoother. Base frame of the truck gets painted first. Then we move on to the rest of the body where we prepare the whole base structure. Once the foundation is all checked, it is sent to the painter and then after it gets painted, it's further sent to the decoration department. It takes around two months to get the procedure completed. Trucks in Pakistan are decorated with the slogans and pictures all over their bodies from local folklore that gives them a Pakistani look. These slogans are the fortune cookies of Pakistan. After reading them, you have something to ponder over your own life and sometimes about the life around you. I started working on truck art since 1980s and continued doing it till now. There's a lot of work involved in painting a truck. We start with basic coloring with a blank surface. It takes at least two to four days on painting a truck. Everything that includes flowery art and bird designs is taken into consideration. We also invest in scenic beauties like Kashmir, Sawat, Khaber, Shahi Mosque, Lahore, and anything that comes off beautiful to the general public. A humorous slogan will redirect the seriousness in your life. A political slogan will make you think of the political landscape in Pakistan. And the poems of Pakistani poets make you contemplate over everything in general.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I don't know why I'm happy today. I know exactly why I'm happy today, in fact. I just got it. So at the start of the show, I told you that happiness comes from within. So whenever I want to be happy, I think what I do is just start clapping, you know, and you feel happy. I don't know whether it's a great idea. It might sound a little clumsy to all of those other people who think that they're very sober for that. So it's perfectly all right. Don't worry, you know, do not stress out. It's a good morning. The weather out there is changing. It's great. And please make sure to look after. But before going towards the break, ladies and gentlemen, we said that digitalization can actually do wonders. We are on way. For example, I think, let's talk about DFS, which is the Digital Financial Services. Uh, and I think that they are trending these days as well. People are actually transferring money from one mobile bank account to another mobile bank account. These are the things. But there are other things which we need to focus on. Now, those are that, you know, there are people over here within Pakistan who actually need to be aware, first of all, of these services. And then they actually need to know how to use these services. Because I don't think that a lot of people actually have an idea that these days you can actually do branchless banking. How do we do that? What do we do? How do we learn? These are the questions I'll be asking our experts over here. So was here in 2016. And it was, I think, 10 days that he got married and he actually initiated with this project, which is with the name of Learning with Earning, ladies and gentlemen. He's the CEO of this company. On my right hand side, I've been joined by Muhammad Imran Sheikh. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Walaikum Salaam. Thanks for having me, Shahad sir. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. And then at the same time, there's one thing which I can observe, and that is that, you know, after your marriage, you're definitely making big money and you've got a bigger belly too as well. So I think exactly. the marriage literally worked out for you. And alongside him, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually been joined by an example. And uh, she, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely going to share her experience on working with learning with earning as well, because she, that's where she learned from. And then that's where, I don't know whether she's earning from there or she's, she's got a different setup. Well, she's a blogger, ladies and gentlemen. She's a content writer. She's none other than Miss Malika Bibi. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely perfect. Thank you very much for joining us. So before, yeah, you know, getting my conversation started with Imran, I'm going to get my conversation started with you. So how okay. did you, first of all, get to know about that there's this company who are actually educating people on to probably how to use the digital financial services, how to work online, how to earn online? Because okay. this is the question uh, in today's world. Go ahead. Okay, uh, first let me tell you about my uh, history yeah, about ahead. freelancing. You know, I started working in 2014, wow. just like uh, Googling and all the like how I can earn online. It yeah. was like my aim working on uh, like uh, kind of like uh, Facebook, it's kind of earning sources, like kind of blogging, that's kind of earning source, okay. right? And then uh, I was working like all the time. I was sitting uh, uh, on Facebook, on you know, wh like whatever the you know social media, yeah. and I was just writing and then you know publishing that blogs uh, on uh, many sites. Like yeah. I started my blogging on Bit Bitlanders. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the first time, I earned ten thousand. Wow. I was so immature at that time, so I published that ten thousand. You know, on Facebook, I was telling okay. everyone, you know, I earned ten thousand rupees yeah. uh, that was so meaningful because nobody was knowing about the you know the freelancing yeah. the online earning yeah. so it kind of kind of you know it's uh, meaningful for everyone yeah so at that time I was living at hostel and I wasn't talking to any girl I was just working on my freelancing yeah. all the time yeah. so like uh, at, in this way you know I was uh, just searching on Facebook and then I find out learning with earning you know yeah. Uh, there, it How, has did been written. How did you find uh, out? How did you find out? You know, I joined a, uh, on uh, Facebook. There was a group online earning. Yeah, okay. So it has been posted there. Someone okay. post there, posted there. So I just find out there and, you know, just called sir and sir picked up the call and uh, he asked me, like, uh, in this way we are giving a training. Yeah. So it was so cheap. So I was so happy to, you know, How much did you pay for the training? Because uh, you earned 10,000 rupees and then you got to know about that. 600. There was just 600 only? Yes, exactly. Wow. So I was so happy, like, you know, I'm, uh, you know, learning so many, so many things, you know, from the experienced yeah. teachers. But it was so cheap. Amazing. So uh, for the first time, you know, I registered myself for content writing. Very nice. And then I learned SEO, search okay. engine optimizing. That that's yeah, working yeah. for blogging, like how yes, you can exactly. take that blog. So know, that you know, for example, if I'm going to search for Malika, ladies and gentlemen, I think you know she'll appear actually on top of Google. You know, whenever we do the search. 
So everybody knows this trick, but it's great. You know, I'll, I'll have to pause you over here because I want to okay. move on to Mr. Imran. Okay, but before sure. I move on to Mr. Imran, there's this one of my experiences which I wanted to share. So the first amount you earned online was 10,000 rupees. I'm sorry, but I'll have to give it away because yeah. I was very excited. And I think it was back in 2015 or 16 somewhere where I got a call from one of the very major brands over here in Pakistan. And I don't want to lie about it. But then what happened was that they said that if you're going to come to our event, and if you're just going to record it and just going to put it on your Instagram, we're going to pay you 70,000 rupees. And that was an offer I couldn't refuse. So the first ever online earning I did was 70,000 rupees. It was great. And ever since then, there's this one thing which I want every parent to understand that they are actually not supportive of the fact that their kids are using tablets and whatnot. That's too true. And that's correct too as well. But ladies and gentlemen, digitalization, I think, is the window towards future. Please make sure. Now, you obviously have to look after yourself. You have to look after your health. You have to do everything. You have to do the chores. But digitalization can literally do wonders if you want to be rich. Mr. Imran, yes. can, uh, can the digital arena make us rich, as rich as we want to? I want to own yachts, you know, probably go on vacation in Switzerland or do something, or probably just stay on vacation because it's online. Basically, Shadad, technology makes your life easy and comfortable. Yes. In a, a respect of learning or is, a respect of earnings. Exactly. And you're saying that can we become millionaire? 110% we can become millionaire. I want to become a trillionaire. <laughs> uh, it took uh, a long time, but yeah. it's possible, it possible in this field. Yes. It, it doesn't demand your age, any qualification, any height, any yes. physique. It just demands technical skills, your patience, yeah. you're working on keyboard, yeah. and uh, nine to none, yeah. your time, basically. <laughs> nine to none. Yes, exactly. So this is uh, some uh, major factors are counting like communication, personality, grooming, your uh, communication with clients, your some digital skills like market hot cake skills, okay. social media, digital content, blogging, Facebook, YouTube, somehow. If you have a grip on five to six skills and you have experience of six months to one year and you have a good profile as a freelancer and you can easily bid uh, and outsource $500 to $1,000 per month. Really? In uh, one year, in starting one year. Okay. No our education, no our uh, qualification uh, becomes enabled to empower thousand dollar a month. In no, first no, year. no, but that's not what my question is. My question is, for example, if somebody is unable to read and write, hmm. I think it will be difficult for him or her to actually do that. No, so so then gradually, so so that's where learning with earning comes in, right? We basically teach them some digital skills where uh, people learn online, okay. uh, we train them online. Everything is digital. Uh, the business is successful who have app on cell phone. Okay. Everything is digital. Everything is focused on branchless banking. Yes. Like Easy Pesa, Jazz, etc. Digital et financial services. Uh, in yes. fact, our uh, learning with earning have 15,000 plus students portfolio. Wow, wow. More than Let me multiply them by 600 <laughs> first of no, all. No, <laughs> it's 600 in 2016. 600 in 2016. What is it now? Uh, now, uh, almost 3,000 to 5,000 we are charging per I'm course. sorry to do that, but I'll have to do that. 15,000 into 5,000 makes a lot of money, ladies exactly, and gentlemen. Exactly. It's uh, 7.5 million rupees a year. Oh, and the main, that's the, great. And the main answer is this, Shahad Sahib. 90% uh, students pay their fees via branchless banking. It's 75 million though. I was wrong. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So, uh, the reason is this, uh, Pakistan is the fourth most IT growing industry in the yes, world. Yes, yes, yes. And every third person is freelancer in Pakistan right now. Okay. Uh, people who are uh, living in hostel, people who are studying in a university are, hundred, are focused on the digital skills, are focused on laptop, yeah. are focused on uh, digital financial services. Okay. So let me move back to uh, Malika over here. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm confusing it with Malika. I haven't said it, but yeah, Malika is fine. So Malika, what kind of skill set did you need, you know, when you contacted Learning with Earning and did it really help? You know, how did they train you? Do you think that the training was so amazing that you actually learned while you were actually under the or in the session? Uh, well, first of all, I will tell you, like, I was working on that side that was not eligible, right? Okay. So it, they were paying, but like the, at that time, you know, they were just changing the way, you know, the websites and like just they were paying, but actually I was not satisfied with okay. them. 
Okay, I was like, uh, maybe they are wasting my time. Sometime, you know, they are uh, taking much time to pay to us. So yeah. that's why, you know, I, was, I just searched them and I contacted the sir just to improve my content writing. Actually, okay. I started my writing skill at that time. I was not that good writer. Yeah. So my what first... What do you write about though? What do you write uh, about? In the beginning, that was like about, I wrote about the hair, nail polish, and like kind of, you know, whatever <laughs> well, I fashion choose. Fashion blogging, yes. Uh, yes, somehow, you know, okay. I was writing my own, you know, Whatever interest. you thought. Yes, yes. exactly. So then I, then I, uh, you know, come to know about, the, you know, socially, like uh, about economic, uh, about, you know, politics, and I started getting interest in, in yeah, it. Okay. Uh, from learning with earning, you know, I, I, f I felt like, you know, I have to improve my content writing. Yeah. So I contacted with them. Yeah. So in that way, like they uh, taught us online. So uh, online. Which posting. hashtags to use? How to yes. be uh, in trending? Exactly. You know, all they of these were uh, they were giving assignment to us. Like uh, you have to submit this content uh, before this time and okay. and this and brainstorming all, all this thing. Okay. So I started like uh, working with them and I was sending my work to them and my teacher was so helpful and he was teaching me everything like you Malika you have to do this okay. thing and this thing. Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah I improved a lot. After that I started blogging uh, on yeah. Google, okay. direct Google. Wow. So I started with Malika's thought like uh, for yeah. the first time and then. So what do you I think about it? I mean this is one thing I, I want to know you know what a pretty lady thinks about every day you know go ahead. <laughs> Like it's kind of, you know, I was, uh, you know, if you are working then brainstorming and then every kind of issues you can find in your okay. daily life, you yeah. know. You can find so many, you know, something of that sort, you know. Uh, you know uh, there, there were so many things I was writing, even about the actors. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. even I was using your pictures as well. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very I much. can wow. see. That's great. Right? I was using so many actor, actresses' pictures, yeah. you know, I was, you know, just advertising there. That's great. So, but I was not getting, you know, the right any, response. Yeah, response, because, any Because, you know, the target market you wanted to hit, you were missing it, right? Yes, you, it exactly, wasn't really exactly, a exactly. They think uh, what I get from learning with earning again, yeah. the help of SEO, search engine optimizing, okay. they helped me, they taught me. And uh, at that time, you know, I started working o on that. Amazing. And I, you know, working uh, through of searching, uh, search engine optimizing yeah. and through of the domain, whatever uh, sir taught me yeah, and, domain, you know, whatever yeah. the trainer taught me. And then, you know, I started getting account on, you know, Edson Amazing. and through of that I started earning. And that's cool. And I think that, you know, this is the sole uh, reason why you're over here on the show as well, so that you can inspire a million other people who are out yes. there who are watching as well. But let me just come back to Mr. Imran over here very quickly. So from 2016 till 2019, that's the journey of learning with earning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you from uh, a very meager number of students to you have brought it up to 15,000. But, you know, there's this one thing which I think is unjustified and that is that initially if your product was 600 rupees, how can it go up to 5,000 rupees in just three years? Come on, yeah, stop doing that with people. People do not value the okay. cheap prices. Yeah. Uh, and exactly. people do spend on cinema for <laughs> movies, do spend on treats for thousands of amounts. Yeah. So we have changed their mindset that uh, if you have, if you can, uh, basically freelancing uh, gives us the f freedom from time, space and money. Yeah. We are working at 3 p.m. afternoon, we are working at 3 p.m. night. Yeah. We have... Uh, so, uh, doesn't your wife have a problem with that? Uh, no. Uh, that you're working at night, you're working at day, are you married of to... Of course, uh, somehow uh, she have to face, but she have to bear. <laughs> 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 All right, but thank you very much, Imran, for being with us. It was Welcome. lovely to have you. Thank you very much, Malika. Please make sure that you continue to teach other people. For sure. Continue to make other people learn. And since you have actually learned from such an amazing uh, platform, I think it's your responsibility to disseminate knowledge to other people as well. Yeah, I'm working but, on that. Yeah, that's I have, great. I have trained already so many people. Even I invited Sir from, you know, I gathered yeah. so my community yeah. there. So and I we are even planning well. a session together too as well, ladies and gentlemen, which will, I think, will be an online lecture, but we'll definitely let you know about that. But other than that, thank you very much, Imran, for being with us. Thank Welcome. you very much, thank Malika, so much. for being yeah, with us. You. And I think people who are out there, everybody wants to have a larger number of Instagram followers, Facebook followers, Twitter followers. These are the people to contact, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure that you check Learning with Earning. We're going for a short break. Don't go anywhere. Because when you guys will come back, I actually want to talk about vitamin deficiencies today. And there's a reason why I want to talk about it. 
So for the past, past year, I've got, I had pain in my right shoulder. Oh, sorry, right is this one and then left is this one. Because now I eventually have pain in both the shoulders. So went to the doctor and he said that, you know, you've got a vitamin deficiency. Why do I have a vitamin deficiency? I mean, is there something which I'm not eating? And because I cannot sunbathe out there over here in Pakistan. So I think probably, you know, uh, I actually need to ask my lifestyle coach for that. So don't go anywhere. We'll be talking about vitamin deficiencies in women and men right after the break. We'll be right back. Bra. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For everybody who just got tuned into PTV World, you watch it well this morning alongside the one and only, the very fabulous, the very stunning, the very amazing. Well, Shazad's not around. I'm just talking about myself, Shazad Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier, we were talking about digitalization, and I think everybody needs to learn about it. And for that, we've given you a platform, which is learning with earning. But other than that, before going towards the break, I told you that, you know, I've had this severe pain in my shoulder, and then I actually had to go to the doctor. And the doctor said that, you know, you've got vitamin deficiencies and whatnot. So why do we even get vitamin deficiencies? I mean, for a person who's actually, you know, as tall as I am, you know, I think probably he had good food while he was growing up. I was, was very sporty. I was, I used to go riding. I used to do everything pretty much. But eventually I get to know that, you know, I've got vitamin deficiencies. <laughs> well, I'm not going to cry. You know, I'm going to do something about it. And that is that I'm actually going to ask from my lifestyle coach over here, Miss Lubna Khan Faraz. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Good morning. Hello, how, how are you? you? 
absolutely perfect. I'm doing wonderful. And what a great way to introduce the topic for today that Thank was you that, you know, much. we don't understand that we can be vitamin deficient even though we're having a very good diet, yeah. even though we may be like, you know, super active. Yeah. But people don't understand that because of, you know, soil depletion and all these other environmental factors and the way our body absorbs, you know, vitamins and minerals now is yeah. different than before. Exactly. So it's not that if you were deficient before, you're going to be deficient now. Okay. Or if you were like, you know, if you're, def you're not deficient now, so you will never be deficient in your, in okay. your life. It's nothing like that. You can get deficient at any point or any time in your life. Yeah. So what I want to talk about today is I really want to focus on women first. And then if yeah. you want, we can go back to men. Yeah. It's usually the same when it comes to vitamins, like, you know, for men. And but you said you were going to ask me a question. I was. I'm getting to that. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm getting okay. to that. You know, so... Um, when we come to like vitamins, we always talk about, you know, men and women both. And that's what I want to focus on, but mainly women right now in, okay. the, in the first part. Go okay. Ahead. So before I get to that, tell me what vitamin or mineral you think is the most important or like, you know, super needed that we think in okay. general that like without this, I am not good. Okay. So I think that, you know, vitamin A, B, C, D, E, or, you know, if there are any other vitamins, <laughs> I think think all, of <laughs> I think all, all the vitamins are essential yeah. for everybody. Yeah, no, that's right. That's of course it is. Um, but you know, what I wanted to get out yeah. of you is that a lot of us usually tend to say from what I've noticed, calcium. Okay. Or, you know, vitamin C, yeah. which is, of course, they are the right answers, but it's fun to always see what people tend but, to but, think but, or what the media and okay, like, you what know, what is the correct has. answer then? The correct answer is <laughs> <laughs> there is no right or wrong in this, I was okay. telling you. Yeah. But it's just that it's good to understand that, like you mentioned before, A, B, C, D, E, whatever it yeah. is, all of them have equal importance and all of them have a certain function in our body yeah, yeah, that yeah. we need to focus on. So you cannot just say, oh, you know, I need to drink milk to get my calcium because calcium is the most important vitamin yeah. out there, you know? So we really have to understand that we need all. All of them together mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. have our immune function wow. proper and you know to have our heart disease to avoid basically disease right so let's focus on women first yeah. basically I was talking about soil depletion I was talking about like women um, you know they give birth they breastfeed you know they have menstruation cycles so they're more prone to vitamin deficiencies more than ever um, now and um, even 30 percent of women right now in the world are vitamin deficient and they do not know okay. and can you believe this fact 70 percent of women would be deficient had the supplemental you know tablets not exist Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody would have been deficient of all of those <laughs> exactly. vitamins as well. So, yeah. So, you know, people ask me all the time that, you know, is it super important to take the tablets and stuff like that? Well, of course, you may have a, you know, very good diet and everything. But because of soil depletion, because of all the nutrients, you know, some people just food preferences. We don't like dairy or they don't want to take dairy because they're lactose intolerant yeah. or they don't want to eat meat because they're vegan or whatever the case may be. Or you just don't like meat, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's important to supplement your body with that because whether you like a certain food, Food or not it's important to have that mineral in your body to have it function right so let's get right to it the first one I want to talk about is antioxidants which are vitamin C a and E I talk about antioxidants all the time that I'm here and yeah. I've spoken about a lot of foods that contain them so vitamin A C and E are super important to fight you know any kind of radical damage environmental damage UV damage that we yeah. you know do to our skin our face our hair everything so vitamin C it, you know when I talk about C people talk about just the immune system or you you know, yeah. recovering from a cold, but it's not just that. Did you know C is super important for your vision as well? Okay. Yeah, so you need to make sure that you intake A, C, and E. So if you're going to go buy, you know, a multivitamin, you want to make sure that it, is, it has a fermented, I will say again, fermented type of antioxidant, which is vitamin A, C, and E. So you definitely want to look out for that. My next one that's so important right now is vitamin D or D3 to be particular. Yeah. Now, D comes from obviously sun exposure, but we're deficient now because A, we always have sunscreen on and we're not out in the sun that much anymore. Yeah. You know, kids used to play out in the sun in the playgrounds all the time, but now we have our beautiful tablets yeah. or like our phones and stuff like that. So, you know, things have changed. So, but in order to combat that, you know, vitamin D is super important. You know, I have young babies, you know, coming and what, what now is recommended is that you starting from birth, especially if you're breastfeeding, you yeah. have to give them vitamin D drops. Okay. Even the babies, because really? that's how important it is. And you know, even that, if you're breastfeeding. Yes. And especially if you're breastfeeding, because what one thing that breast milk does not have is vitamin D. Okay. So that's one thing that you definitely want to supplement your babies with. And of course, women and men both need it as well. Vitamin D. Yes, you would get it if you were out in the sun for about 20 minutes throughout the day. Um, and you know, without sunscreen that is. And after that, of course, you put 
put sunscreen on, otherwise you will damage your skin and skin cancer and all of that um, comes in. So yes, eggs and mushrooms have it too. So a lot, a lot of foods have this, but you do want to supplement your body with it. Um, it does help with mood disorders. It helps with your metabolism. It, you know, hormonal health for women is super important, which is what vitamin D is super good for. So that's my number two. The next one that is being getting popular now is vitamin K. But I'm so surprised that people don't know about vitamin K. And vitamin K basically comes from the green leafy vegetables. So things like cabbage or broccoli or kale or spinach, it comes from there. And it basically helps with strong bones. It helps with, you know, blood cl uh, clearing out your blood clotting, yeah. preventing heart disease. And, you know, every like if you have been taking antibiotics for a long amount of time, you will def be deficient in vitamin K, especially if you're taking any medication that it helps you lower your cholesterol, okay. you will be deficient in vitamin K. So you definitely want to supplement yourself with that or get a multivitamin that has a good amount of vitamin K in there. And of course, your diet makes a difference as well. Okay. The next one I want to talk about for women is vitamin B and folic acid. So B12 in general. Then vitamin yeah. B we know comes from, you know, meat and all these kind of sources. But it's super important, especially if you're somebody who's, you know, planning to give birth or you are of reproductive age or even if you are over 55, you want to make sure you're getting a good amount of folic acid, you're getting a good amount of vitamin B12. And vitamin B complex in general helps boost your metabolism. Okay. So it's basically everything you eat, turning it into fuel is what vitamin B basically does. So you definitely want to do that. You know, your yogurt will do that. Fish, meat, all of these have vitamin B. You want to intake that, intake that as well. The next one that a lot of women end up being deficient in is iron. Now, anemia is a disease yeah. that, you know, when you have a lot of like, you know, less hemoglobin. Lower hemoglobin. Yeah. So hemoglo hemoglobin is basically a protein that helps transport oxygen why, through your blood, through, you know, in other tissues of your body, which is so important. But because of, you know, menstruation or postmenopausal things, women do end up being uh, quite deficient in there. And if you are deficient in, deficient in iron, your children also be deficient in iron. So you definitely want to make sure you are not, you know, you're, if you're not you're deficient or you're supplementing with iron as yeah. well. And then my last one and my most favorite is omega-3 fish oils. So we all know we don't eat fish like every day or yeah. we don't, you know, we should be eating it several times a week even, but we don't. So it's so important to make sure that you are taking a good omega-3 fish oil. Could be cod, could be liver, you know, cod liver, or could be any kind of salmon, wild-caught salmon, anything like that. And we just, we just don't eat enough good quality wild-caught fish anymore. Okay. And we don't have that because they're so much like farmed or they may be like, you know, farm grown and everything. So they don't have that level of omega-3. Why is that? So important because of inflammation i talk about inflammation being the root cause of all diseases so you definitely want to balance out everything so our you know our so-called western diet with all the processed foods yeah. and you know the box foods and everything are super high in omega-6 so when you take in the omega-3 tablets or when you take in fish or anything like that it will help balance out that inflammation and take that away amazing and i think it's very important ladies and gentlemen because a lot of people these days are experiencing inflammation in different yes. parts of their body so this is uh, you know, here you go. So please make sure that you do your own research too as well. But Definitely. thank you very much for sharing all of these things very quickly since we're talking about minerals and whatnot as well. So what about magnesium and zinc? I was just going to get to that. So when it comes to men or, you know, women that tend to train a lot and everything, so magnesium is super important if you are somebody who works out a lot. Yeah, it, so muscle relaxes, spasms, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. Sleep even, magnesium okay. citrate will help you with that as well. So people that have insomnia or any kind of, you know, they can't fall asleep because you may be working out at night. I always recommend take a very good magnesium supplement. It will relax your muscles and your sleep schedule will, you know, be in tune. Also, potassium is very important for men as well. Well, that's great. And I think this is something which we'll pick up on tomorrow as well. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we're actually going to talk about all those vitamins and minerals which are important for men's health. So for all those men out there, please make sure, uh, the sole reason why we wanted to talk about women today was, you know, because, uh, you know, so the wives do not have issues with their husbands and getting better a day before too as well. So thank you very much, Lubna, for being with us. It's lovely to have you. For all those people out there, please make sure that you write to us on our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of World This Morning. On Twitter, it's World This Morning without a G. Well, this morning on YouTube and Daily Motion, and this fabulous repeats, ladies and gentlemen, going to be at 5 past 11 p.m. tonight. Till the next time, one, two, three. Good morning, brah. <laughs>